Hi, my name is Paul Grogan, and in this Gaming Rules video, I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown of the games that I brought back from Gen Con 50. Now, I'm sorry, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. I got back, and it was a pretty exhausting time, and I haven't slept very well at all for like the 10 days, and I got back, and I'm full of a cold. But I wanted to get this done as soon as I could anyway. So I went over to Gen Con 50, working for Czech Games Edition, travelled over there on the Monday. I actually took my video camera with me. My intention was that I would create a video log while I was there, and it started off quite well. I did a bit of a, a video log on the coach on the way there and then from Amsterdam Airport and then when I arrived at the hotel. However, after that, things got a bit crazy busy and I didn't really have any time for probably the next six or six days or so. So in the end, I just decided to scrap that and I'll just do this video instead. So what games did I bring back with me? Well, let's have a look. I think this is everything. So first of all, it's not a game. It's a uh, Galaxy Trucker Rocky Road. Now, this is published by CGE, who make board games. The writer of this is Jason Holt, who um, is CGE's... He's been working with CGE ever since they started. He's the guy responsible for a lot of their rule books. He's also an author. So, if you're interested in the Galaxy Trucker universe, then check out Galaxy Trucker Rocky Road. It's available uh, as an ebook and also, obviously, physical hard copy. Now, uh, my girlfriend, Vicky, she read through this in the final stages of proofing, so I've not read it yet. She's read it, she says it's very good, and not just because it's a Galaxy Trucker novel. So anyway, that's that. So, next up is That's a Question and Codenames Duet. Now, of course, I work for CG, so of course I'm going to get copies of these, but these are not my copies. So, on the Board Game Trading and Chat UK Facebook group, uh, a few weeks ago, there was a charity raffle for uh, Annette's new bike, and we raised over £400 for that. So, these are not mine. These are signed copies that are going to... Uh, this one's going to uh, Julie McBride, this one's going to Graham Charlton. I'll be getting these off in the post later on this week. But Codenames Duet is now available in the UK, uh, and in fact everywhere. I'm not quite sure when that's a question is going to be out. I think in a few weeks' time. Right, what else have we got? So this is an old game. Uh, Laisler by Stefan Feld. This is one of the few Stefan Feld games that I did not have in my collection. I now do have in my collection. Uh, thanks very much to MaggieBot for, for this. I didn't get this when it came out because it was uh, a lighter Feld game. Never actually played it, but because it was a lighter Feld game, I thought, oh, I'll give that a miss. Uh, since then, have played it, really liked it, and wanted it in my collection. So again, thanks to MaggieBot for this. Next one, right, this is, this is not my game, okay? So this is Bob Ross and the Art of Chill. I didn't really have any idea what this was about, but a number of people contacted me and said, oh, Paul, you're going to Gen Con, please can you bring something back for me? Now, I have very limited luggage space and very limited time uh, myself to actually go around the exhibition hall. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, you know, fulfil most of those requests, but... Tom Heath, who does this slicker drip thing on video, you may have heard him on my podcast, he wanted a copy of this. Uh, I got the email from him, and I just set it as a reminder, and I thought, I've no idea what this is, but I'll have a look for it at the time. And then uh, Dave Banks, who does the Geek Dad thing, he was telling me about this crazy game. And as he started telling me about it, I was thinking, wait a minute, this sounds familiar. So this is Bob Ross and the Art of Chill. I don't really know much about it. This is not mine, but I brought it back for Tom. It's a bit strange. Right, Talon. Uh, some of you have probably seen that I've done a review of this game. Well, I did that review and it wasn't my copy of the game. It was a friend of mine's. Uh, but I spoke to GMT and reached out to them and um, they sent me a copy of this game. They sent it to an address in America. Thank you, Justin, for this. Uh, and I picked it up there and I brought it back with me. So I'm going to be playing a lot more of this. Um, and I've done a video, a quick video review for it, and I'm going to be helping promote this game. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, check out my other video. Next on the pile is Legend of the Five Rings. Now, I heard this was going to be in limited supply, and in fact, it, it was. It, it sold out pretty much straight away. Um, lucky for me, I've got some contacts at Fantasy Flight Games. Thanks, Lucas. Uh, dropped him a message, and he said he'll put one aside for me, and I'll collect it on the Wednesday. I've not had a chance to play this yet. I'm very keen to give it a go. Um, it looks like they've done a fantastic job with it, so uh, I did play the original game once, but yeah, very keen to check this out. What else we got? American Railroads. Picked this up from the BGG store. Um, not played it for... Uh, not played Russian Railroads for quite a while, but it's a very good game. Uh, looking forward to getting into it. So, uh, yeah, decided to pick up this one to complete my collection. Right, what's next? Colosseum, another old game, and this is the original version. So, 
Dave Banks, who runs Gig Dad, who I mentioned earlier on, I met him a couple of years ago at Gen Con. Uh, he was one of the people, when, when I was working on the CGE booth, he's one of the people who came to me and asked me for a review copy of Codenames. Uh, and I don't just give out, you know, random copies to people I don't know. So I said, look, give me a business card. I'll go and check out your stuff tonight uh, and then come back tomorrow and we'll see what we can do. And I went back and, I, and that was the first time I'd looked up Geek Dad. The first time I'd heard of Geek Dad and looked it up and was really impressed by the stuff that they do and what they cover. So, of course, wasn't a question, gave me a review copy of Codenames. This was two years ago. Since then, I've become friends with Dave. Uh, Dave has a copy of the original Colosseum, which I know is quite rare and is quite valuable. Dave was keen to, um, I think he's having a clear up at home and he wanted to see it go to a good home. Uh, I quite liked the game. I wasn't a big fan of the new artwork style. So he contacted me and he said, look, he wants it to go to a good home. Would I accept it? And initially I was like, no, because I don't like accepting gifts. But then I decided to. So this is going to sit in my games collection. I'm not going to sell it, even though it's worth quite a bit of money. Um, and I, I, I'm, every time I see it, I'm going to think of Dave and I'm going to think of our friendship. And uh, yeah, very happy to have that. Right, what's next? Word Slam. So Word Slam was uh, all the rage at Origins, where Cosmos, I think, brought 100 copies and it sold out within an hour. Uh, I'd heard people talking about it. I didn't really know anything about it. And then on the Sunday of Origins, on the last day, just as we'd packed up, uh, I met up with the crowd from BGG uh, in the hotel and they were all playing this. So I joined in uh, and it's fantastic. It's really, really good. It's kind of like concept, but with words. So you will draw a card and you will have something to describe but you describe it not by putting cubes on pictures, you describe it by rearranging these word cards that you have on, on your train. You can do all sorts of clever things with them. Um, now, what's interesting is that both sides are trying to guess. So you split into teams and both sides are trying to guess the same word. And of course, you will be, you'll be shouting things out and the other team will be hearing what you're shouting out, so you, you've got to be careful. Anyway, Word Slam, fun party game, very good, really enjoyed it. So I was definitely going to come back with a copy of that. That's from Cosmos. Uh, I might be doing a review of that. Spirit Island from Greater Than Games. Now, I had a meeting with Greater Than Games uh, on one of the evenings to discuss potential future work together. Uh, Spirit Island, I currently don't know very much about, apart from a number of people, I think three or four people, independently have told me that I'm going to like this game. So... I'll tell you more about it in the weeks to come. As I say, I don't really know much about it, apart from it's cooperative, I think, uh, and people have said that I'll like it. So this is Spirit Island from Greater Than Games. And finally, I think finally, Downfall. Now, you may notice that this is not a proper game box. This is a game which Taste of Minstrel Games are going to be publishing at some point later this year, or going on Kickstarter later this year, I think, and they want me to do a rules video for it. So I've brought this box back, it's got all of the components in there, I hope, uh, and the rule book. And I've got to learn how to play, write the video, and then get the video rules video done for the Kickstarter campaign. So that is, I think, all of the games that I brought back with me from Gen Con. Now, something else that I did at Gen Con was, uh, because Joel Eddy was not able to make it to Gen Con, and Joel is a big fan of Jaffa Cakes, I decided to take with me lots of packs of Jaffa Cakes and film a number of people eating Jaffa Cakes. So. Enjoy the rest of this video. Jaffa cakes, Jeremy. You need to you need to make sure you come to uh, Gen Con next year. Yeah, he's good. All right, I'm gonna eat this for you, Joel, and it better be good. Oh, there's chocolate on the bottom too. Oh, I might eat more than one. Would you like one? No, yeah. No, right. no, I'll have one later. Oh, oh my God. You're good. Those are good. I'm, I bet you good. wish you could be here. Mmm. <laughs> very good. Hey, Joel. Sorry you can't make Gen Con, but in your honor, I'm having a jockey cake for you. Ah, uh, I love these. I actually, Gen Con, Jaffy Cakes! Jaffy Cakes! <laughs> <laughs> these are really good. I, have you had these before? These are awesome. I love these things. Mm. I'm so glad I came to Gen Con. Didn't have to stay home. Oh, Joel, uh, I think Paul has something for you, but since you couldn't bother to come to Gen Con, I guess it belongs to me. <laughs> hey, Joel, uh, we have a whole case of Jaffa cakes here that Paul brought. We're sorry you're not here. We've decided to enjoy them without you, so cheers. 
So good. Mm -hmm. Give me some more, though. Wait, what's in the middle? Hi, Joel. I'm really sorry you couldn't be at uh, insert convention name, but there's some Jaffa cakes, and uh, um, they're really disgusting. I don't know why yeah, you like so them. They're really horrible. Because this it's is the worst. Make you upset. We're going to eat them anyway. <laughs> candy in the world, but yeah, I'm just going to have some. This is horrible. This is horrible. Mm. We're, this, we're doing this for you. For you. Hi Joel, I'm glad that you're not here so I can get an extra drop of cake, but I do miss seeing you buddy. back to you, so I'm just I'm going to try this out. Good. It's citrusy. Mm. Sorry, Joel. We'll see you next time. So that's what I brought back from Gen Con 50 and the special Jaffa Cake video just for Joel. I hope you found this video useful. I'm going to be doing some review videos of these over the coming months. And if you were at Gen Con 50 and you stopped by to say hi, either in the CGE demo room or even in the airport, then I really do appreciate it. And it was good to see you there. So until next time, take care and thanks for watching.